Hey, this is Spuds at Car One. I'm just doing a quick video saying thank you for your inquiry on the 2012 Ram 3500 single rear wheel Cummins turbo diesel. This vehicle is still available and ready to go whenever you are. So I'm just going to do a quick walk around in this truck. I'm going to go under the truck, inside the truck, under the hood, and all the way around. I'm going to point out any flaws that I see. And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown so you can see it before you drive out here. So let's get started here under the hood. This is the 6.7 turbo diesel Cummins. couple of dents. She's a really pretty truck though. Let's take a look in here on the driver's side. You got your power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. Uh, right here there is a crack. These older Rams, they were known to have a uh, some of this plastic crack like on the dashboard and stuff this one does not have any cracks on the dashboard though I do have the original window sticker what I can do is I'm just gonna hover over this if you want you can pause the video all right if you pause the video then you were able to take a look at all of the features that were on this vehicle when it came from the manufacturer here you got a little bit of storage that's a little out of place what these are oh I got them upside down these are they're just little dividers for this like so well you got to get them to lock in and get them lined up I can't really do that with one hand um, it does fold up into third row seating back to an armrest all that little dip there. Alright, back here in the back you've got your all-weather ram floor mats. You do have the fold-up bench seat. You have a thousand watt power inverter and plenty of storage back here as well as cup holders. Everybody loves a good set of cup holders. Once again, seats just fold down. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. Take a walk back here. You do have these heavy-duty iron step rails. Those are not going anywhere got some nice meaty tires on the back over here some good years some really good clean tires you do have a hideaway ball there's your hideaway pin you pull that you can flip the ball upside down this allows for the towing of a gooseneck um, right here there is a bit of a scuff come to the back this thing does not have a tailgate I don't know what happened to it we got it this way that is a full cast iron tailgate it is pretty heavy but it does fold down it does fold up it locks into place with that little ball right there you do have your four pin and seven pin connector piece as well as a tow hitch receiver and once again you have the ball in the back for a gooseneck walk back around over here try and get you into these wheel wells a lot of rams have the issue of rusting in the wheel well first before they go anywhere so as you can see there is no rust in these wheel wells everything checks out do a little bit of a pan here. And we're off to the passenger side over here now. No stains in the seat. Your glove box, you have the original glove manual. Looks like you get a couple extra bulbs in here. Oh, there's a bit of scratches right there.
we'll make our way up to the front over here. Make way to the side. As I can tell on this truck all the frame and everything looks pretty good on here I don't see any signs of any kind of rust there's your full-size spare there's your rear drive axle as you can see there's no rust build up on any of this the, uh, the exhaust and the drive shaft look a little muddy and dirty but other than that it looks like a pretty clean truck in my opinion so if you have any questions please give me a call my name is Spuds, and you can reach me at 615-962-3725. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have, and I look forward to earning your business. Thank you very much.